Okay, in this video we're going to cover how to run a virus scan using the online virus scanner from Trend Micro. So basically when you go to Google and you type in online virus scanner, you'll notice that housecall.trendmicro.com is going to be somewhere in that top listing. And we're also going to do these for some of the other antivirus products out there. In this case, the operating system we're working with is the 32-bit version of XP. Um, usually on the front of a laptop or on a desktop, it'll tell you right off the bat what OS you have, uh, whether 32 or 64-bit. A great way to do this is to right-click on My Computer. Uh, with later versions, it's Computer. And you'll notice here it says uh, Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 and there's no notice of it being a 64-bit operating system so that'll help you right off the bat there this is actually an AMD 64 uh, processor but does not running the 64-bit OS so something that you need to to look at is is that on many uh, computers especially uh, Vista and uh, Windows 7 you'll see it on the front of the laptop or on the front of the system if you got a store-bought computer it'll actually tell you what version of the operating system you have now again since we have the 32-bit OS we're gonna tell it to launch it in this case we're gonna save it we're gonna say to the desktop and as it begins the download and this is a small download so depending on your on your um, uh, connection speed it should go pretty quickly but anyway it's only 1.75 megabytes so it's gonna go pretty quickly we can actually close out of the window which we're gonna do so we can see our nifty wallpaper here and basically this thing is a downloader it's gonna launch we're gonna hit run uh, we're gonna have to get run again with this case being XP now if you've got Windows Vista or 7 there may be a couple of other security pop-ups that you're gonna get um, and if you're not familiar with Windows 7 and Windows Vista sometimes those pop-ups come at the bottom of your screen you'll notice you have a little flashing icon down at the bottom you'll click on it and boom up it comes so this is gonna begin the download process and uh, through the magic of film we're going to jump forward and catch up with the download when it completes catch you in a second okay so here you see that the download is completed we've got the option to accept the license uh, agreement which of course you have to do then click next and I recommend going into settings under settings it's going to give you several options here and uh, I'll show you what those are here in just a second it'll take you a second to load you can do a custom scan and and scan a specific drive so if you've got a um, a program that you've got installed on a, on another another drive like instead of your C drive it's on your D drive or if you've got a, a flash drive plugged in and you want to scan it for viruses using this tool you can do that as well so those options are there in this case we're going to tell it to do a full scan and then scan now and this is going to run through on the machine and the likelihood on this machine is we won't find anything but my intention is to show you how to actually remove several viruses so we may show you a couple of other systems that are infected so we're going to pause this one and uh, let it pick up on the backside with our finished product see you in a bit okay so now we see that the scan is finished and it's found two root kit files on the computer so we're going to tell it to fix it's going to roll through its solution and give us the solution to the back end now the interesting thing about root kits is they're a, a relative latecomer in the quote unquote virus world they're basically deeply seeded spyware is one way of looking at them and various programs like Trend Micro's House Call can be an excellent uh, second opinion for your antivirus. So if your computer's not working quite right, um, it's a great second opinion. And I know people who do this um, on their system on a monthly basis. They'll run one on the 15th, like House Call, and uh, maybe they'll run Sophos uh, at the end of the month just to double check their antivirus, make sure that it's giving them the best bang for their buck. So anyway, this wants us to restart the computer, so I'm going to have to close out the... Uh, close out the video to do that but uh, it'll come back up to the desktop and all will be well so if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask uh, don't hesitate to uh, post any comments especially uh, rate it and don't forget to subscribe I got more great stuff on the way